Hey, it's Jake Thompson Hair. I'm here, I wanna show you guys another avant-garde look. This one's gonna blow your minds. It's really cool. All right, guys. When I was cutting one of my avant-garde looks in the link, I'm gonna put the link right here. You can check that out. But when I was cutting that particular look, I had all of this hair. All of this hair that had hit the ground. I, I didn't come from an affluent family, all right? I don't wanna waste anything here. So, you know, mom taught me, eat all your food. Didn't really work for my belly, you know, kind of working on the dad bod right now. But whatever, all right? Let's not get into that. It's another, it's another class. But I don't like wasting any hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this look, not wasting any of the previous hair from um, that other avant-garde look that I had created. So the cool thing about some of the short hair is that it's so short. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to kind of sprinkle, sprinkle it on. And then kind of have it stick on there. This is probably gonna look a little bit weird and, but it's all about building, building, building the hair, okay? You're like kind of building the shape on there and we're using a very kind of firm hairspray. Okay. And as I start to kind of take just bits and pieces here, Kind of start to build, build the shape on top of itself, okay? And I'm using, again, a very light, very firm hairspray. I'll take some of that hair. And this is also something that you want to kind of stand. You want to stand back, and as you start to do something like this, you wanna kinda of start to see the shape because it's really all about balance. And you're starting to kind of balance this out while kind of building this shape into itself. And you're taking like bits of hair from like a little bit more length to very closely shaved. And this is a look that would be straight up for editorial. This is not something that you're probably going to wear out and about. This is not something that you're gonna wear, you're gonna walk. This is a look I did straight up for an actual photo shoot itself, okay? As you can start to see, you know, you've got short bits of hair, you've got long bits of hair. and I'm twisting and I'm just kind of pushing into the shape. And the cool thing about this is that you're not really married to any one piece. You really can, you can have it do pretty much anything because it really starts to defy gravity. It starts to kind of take on a shape of itself. And that's the really cool thing about working with this pre-used um, hair for my other avant-garde look. And again, you, this, I, I really want to show you guys, like, you know, being creative, right? Starting to think outside of the box. One of the things is that I was, I was somebody that was always trying to, um, I was always trying to think about um, how could I create that? How could I make hair do that? How can I do, you know, with, with being in the hairdressing world, you know, again, one of the things I'm really, really inspired by is I'm inspired by nature. You know, nature is a really huge inspiration for me because nature, you know, there's so much beauty out there. There's so much beauty out there in this world. There's so much, and I think that if we 
you know, take the time to, again, put down those little screens you have, those little devices, those little, you know, you'll, you'll start to see like how much beauty is really out there. I think as a society, we start to kind of like lost that. And again, you know, is this look for everybody? 100% no, it absolutely is not. You know, it's like art. Art is, some people like it, some people don't, okay? And I create art for myself. I don't create art for other people. You know, when I stopped creating art for other people is when I actually truly started to love what I did. And when you, when you create art, when you create things for other people, you'll notice that you know, you're always kind of dependent on their, you know, their approval, right? I don't want people's approval. I mean, if you like my stuff, great. I love my stuff. And so I would encourage you guys to start creating art just for yourself. You know, start creating art for, and as you can see, you know, like, it, it, it really truly is a game changer. It was a game changer for me. And I did that in 2011. I remember specifically when it was. In 2011 is when I created a collection for North American Hairstyling Awards. It was that specific collection that had won me Avant-Garde Hairdresser of the Year in 2011. And that in itself because I was, before then, I was creating art specifically for, I was creating art specifically for the judges, I was creating art specifically for my peers, and again, if I can inspire you in any specific way, it would be create art for yourself. So as I start to kind of look at this, I mean, it's kind of coming to the shape to where, I mean, again, this is very, very avant-garde. This is something that I would shoot. This is also something that is completely, um, this is not gonna be your, this is not gonna be your grandma's set, your grandma's roller set. I mean, this would be so funny. If the grandma was rocking this, this would be amazing. You know, I'm not saying a grandma couldn't rock this, but this is not your grandma's roller set, I'll tell you that. But again, you know, I do hair, I'm in the salon um, four days a week. And this, doing things like this when I shoot, uh, this is what keeps me inspired. This is what uh, makes it to where I completely, I can still love what I do and why I do it. You know, that's why I started, you know, entering competition. That's why I started doing certain things because the mundane, there's nothing wrong with the mundane at all as far as being in the salon on a regular basis. But, you know, there are, um, there can be drawbacks to not having a creative outlet. And if you don't have a creative outlet, I would essentially try and get one, whether that's, are you some sort of educator? Do you like to teach? Um, do you like to compete? Do you like to, and as you can see, this is a very airy shape. You know, it looks like it defies gravity because you can kind of see through it, which is uh, also really cool, is that it doesn't have, um, there's no rhyme and reason. It's not like this hair is growing out that, like, I mean, the hair is just kind of put, put in there. And this, and I'm using a stronger hairspray, a very, very strong hairspray to kind of help hold that shape. With the different bits of hair, like going in different directions, you've got the black, you've got the blue, you've got the yellow in there that creates this, uh, this cobweb. Because one of the things that inspired me about this collection was I wanted it to be, I wanted something to look like a cobweb, spider webs. Um, is that it looks, it kind of looks like cotton, it looks like spider webs, it looks like there's no real, you know, I, I wanted something that just was frothy and airy. 
so as you're starting to create this, you're kind of building on top of it, right? Like you start off with a little bit of hair, you're building it here, and then you can see the shape kind of like come alive this direction, and then I filled it a little bit more in top. You know, some of this stuff that's happening in the bottom. I like the asymmetry. So really at the end of the day, you know, if I was going to shoot this, if I was gonna be in the studio shooting this for a competition or an editorial, something like that, you know, I would wait to do the hair after the makeup, ever, after everything was done, and then I would do this, clean up the face, do everything I needed to do there, and then have her lightly step in front of the camera, take a couple shots, take, take, take a couple angles, and then I would start to adjust things from there. Fill in here, maybe build the height here, all of that, because really it is something that you, you, you work kind of in, in progress. And again, this is something that you're using more editorial. This is something that's gonna be more for a photo shoot. As I start to kind of stand back and look at that, I might kind of bring this side in just a little bit through here so it kind of hugs and kind of goes a little bit more like a, um, kind of like a shaggish kind of shape. I like some of this length through here. I like some of the height. And so I would just kind of start to be looking at different things as I start to turn this this way, if I was gonna shoot it like a profile, I would look at certain things like this. I might push this in a little bit through here, like that. I mean, I'm just kind of starting to show you guys what I would see as a photographer, what are things that I would notice. And if I was gonna shoot it like this, you know, I might kind of push this in a little bit, maybe build a little height through here, create a little bit of wave through here with that piece to kind of make it seem like it's actually a real hairstyle. I might, you know, I like that closeness right through here with that really short hair. So I might really kind of show that off down through there. So really at the end of the day, you know, avant-garde hair, working with textures like this, this is something that I stumbled upon years ago and I wanted to remix it today to kind of show you guys some of the cool things you can do with used hair that you cut off the ground. You could use real hair, you could use um, synthetic hair, this is what we use today. You know, I mean, there's endless possibilities of where you guys can go with hairdressing and what you can do. So with that, my name is Jake Thompson. You guys like this, subscribe. Just lightly tap that button. You don't have to smash it, you don't have to push it. Lightly tap that button. You know, if you like this, subscribe. Check out some of my other stuff, I'm gonna leak that um, I'm gonna link my other video where I got this synthetic hair from, from one of my other avant-garde pieces. I just recycled that hair. There's a lot of really cool things you guys can expect from my channel. My name is Jake Thompson Hair. Thanks for checking in.